Well, we're back at the outpost that has no name. We've had a special guest the last couple days. His name is Patrick from the far north, from high level Alberta, a place I did not know existed. Anyways, we're gonna check on Patrick. He has been doing some plumbing. He planned his vacation around coming to the outpost and uh, helping us out. So we're gonna start this video off by giving you a little update on what's going on with, uh, with the project, the building project. If you're not following along, this is like chapter seven, maybe. We're building an outpost that will be available to the public spring of 2023. Hopefully, if all goes well. Goodness, is that Jay Siemens? We made it. Did you think anyone was coming or no? Were you worried? We might be in the next season of Alone. <laughs> yeah. Patrick, introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Patrick Peters. I am the plumber here at this fine lodge. What's, uh, pl plug your business. What's your business back home? DC Mechanical, High Level Alberta. Check us out. How, how far do you travel for work? Do you normally travel 24 hours for work? Uh, this is the first. <laughs> this is the first? A few more perks here, so. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some fishing. Well, show me, show me what you've been doing. So since I was last here, wow, a lot of the walls went up. The sheeting went up on the second floor. This is looking substantial. Wow. He's got uh, one wall to frame here. Yeah. Then I would assume he's gonna put some sheeting on the outside walls before they put the trusses on. Wow, it feels bigger now with all yeah. this other stuff built. So this has been where you've been working. We have a tub. Wow, that looks great. Amazing. So did you, we basically bought bought that for the size of opening. So where's the um, toilet gonna go? It's gonna stick right in there. Yep. And the sink is gonna be where you're standing. Amazing. Oh, there's the water already. So what? show me what you all did. Okay, obviously you did the tub. Got the water lines. We got the pipe for your fan exhaust. Run up above your head. Oh, wow, you did all that stuff already. And all the drainage is under the floor. You can't really see that, so. Wow, good work, great work. I mean, I wouldn't know if this is bad work because I've never seen plumbing before, but it seems really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, mechanical room is where the hot water tank would go eventually. Yeah. Amazing, so this is where we'll do dishes. That's for Patrick, dialed in the water lines. So good, wow, this looks way different than last time. I just noticed this now. The boys that have helped out signing the top, so good. We're gonna go up top and see what we got going on. We've got some scaffolding here, courtesy of Market. As you can see, they do siding in Kenora, friends of ours, they did the siding on my shop. Let's see if I can do this without dropping my camera. Oh. Wow, this is high. All right, we made it. This is gonna be one of the main living quarters. There's gonna be, you know, the master bedroom down below. There's gonna be, wow, this is more room than I thought. This is where the stairs are gonna come up. Oh, this is, this is nice. It's, wow. Every time I come and there's like a couple steps done, it just feels, feels amazing. So there's gonna be five beds up here. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. And then this will be the big arched roof here. It's been amazing, all the people that have been part of this project up until this point. Yeah, we've just met a lot of different people, people that have, you know, saw the first video and said they want to be part of it, people like Patrick, and we are so, so grateful. Next time you see me, we're gonna be dropping some trusses on top here, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be pretty epic. Once the trusses are on, we got the roofing over there from our friends at Dom Tech. Yeah, once we have a, a shell on this, that'll be amazing. Obviously not ideal for sleeping in yet, because there'll be bugs and bears and all that stuff, but uh, wow. They put a dent in the in the lumber down there. This outpost is coming together. Still still need a name though. We, we still need a name. Do your thing. Don't let me get in the way. And we're back to the property. The sun is shining. The friendship is looking stunning. As always, we do want to repaint it. So let me know what color you guys think it should be. I mean, the blue looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Anyways, Mark, Uncle Mark's been down the lake since yesterday. Spencer's down here. We got a couple extra hands today. And today, the trusses are going on. That's a big step. We'll check, uh, check what's going on. Just, I think they're just finishing up the last wall now. Hi, Uncle Mark. Hey, Jay. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Cabin's almost done? Getting closer every day. Do you know what you're doing? No, not at all. Mark's a great teacher though. <laughs> right, Uncle Mark. Before there's loud noises again. 
What are we doing today? Uh, the trusses are here. Oh boy. All right, we are lifting, and by we, I mean everybody but me. It's gonna lift the final wall on hey. camp. Ezra alone, We don't have actually. a name yet. Yeah, Ezra, Ezra's gonna do this by himself because he is definitely the strongest guy here. All right, Ezra, let's see it. Your life of bodybuilding is all leading up to this moment. Yeah. <laughs> like a glove. How many tresses, Mark? 14. 14 tresses. Well, I'm gonna film maybe maybe one more and then I'll well I put on my boots. No more flip-flops, so I will be helping. All right, we just finished up lunch break and we got all of the trusses up top. So I think there was 16, 17 of them, a lot. So now we're gonna tack them in place and this is where it's gonna really take shape and there might be some weather coming in. So we'll see. We got Jeff, we got Matt helping us out today. The two unfamiliar faces and they are uh, a huge help. Scotty is gonna show up yet at some point. Are you flexing, Mark? Am I what? Flexing for the camera. No, no I was doing that, I was going like this. <laughs> that was good. I don't know if we should explain what just happened, but things were out by a quarter inch, so we used a ratchet strap to pull things in. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we had some bad rain. The rain let up. The boys are crushing. I did put down the camera and did a little bit of work, but uh, yeah, this is so exciting. What do you have to say for yourself? It's really good to have all this guy. These it's guys nice here. to not be by yourself for a week, eh? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. tired of being by yourself. Yeah, it gets, it gets lonely. <laughs> A couple more trusses. Oh, a little bit back. Keep going. There. Yep, yep. yep. It's getting away on us. I was outside of the wall to the inside of the so still an inch and a half. <laughs> Describe your emotions right now, Mark. Mixed. Mixed emotions. Things are off a little bit. I'm happy well, it's it's, I'm happy they're going up, but I'm sad that it's not working out right now. So inch and a half. Things are off by an inch and a half. Tensions are rising. No, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Before we put the wrong size spacer board in, now we're not sure what happened. I, uh, I don't really try to give input in these situations because I don't really have anything useful to say. We'll figure it out. Get all these guys off the clock. So how many inches are we off, Mark? Uh, half right now. That's not bad. Scott, what do you think? Are you a happy man? Yep, every day I'm a happy man. This is... It's so loud. This is... So many noises. It's so peaceful here. <laughs> this is a big day though. This is a big day. Thank you, everybody. Well, the boys are still working hard. I think they're just adding the last truss, putting the last two, three trusses up. Um, today was a big day. I think one of the coolest parts of this project for me personally is just all the people that have come together, you know, Patrick, North Bay boys, meeting, 
more people from Kenora that I haven't met before. Maddie, Jeff, thank you guys so much. And yeah, I mean, I've said this so many times, this would not, we would not be on this trajectory if we didn't hire Uncle Mark. Yeah, Uncle Mark's the man. He stays so calm even when the measurements might be off by an inch, um, which isn't his fault, I'm not sure. I think we sorted it out, but. The cabin's coming together and I'm just like, my mind's starting to spin of what this cabin is gonna be, what we can do with it. And yeah, I don't think there's like one answer. I don't think it's gonna be like strictly rented out as you know, a fishing outpost camp. I think that'll be a lot of it um, because I want you guys to be able to stay here. But you know, I would love to take some subscribers fishing here. I'd love to do some sort of catch a cook event with Josh McFadden. I was thrown around the idea of maybe doing a kids fishing camp at some point. I don't know. There's lots of options and you know, now we'll have this beautiful place available to us. And, and I think something that I don't want to pigeonhole it into is just being a fishing camp or just a walleye camp, just a musky camp. I mean, Spencer's got a lot of hunting expertise. Uh, there's a lot of bears around here, deer. I'm probably most excited out of all this stuff is doing some duck hunting. Like I think there's amazing waterfowl hunting around here and I haven't, uh, I haven't really done any duck hunting since I moved out to Kenora a couple years ago. So it's gonna be a fun retreat. Plan right now with how things are looking, it'll get done sometime in the fall. There'll be some finishing touches happening through the fall, I'm sure. Um, maybe we'll have a test tester group or two to come in in the fall time, but I really think spring is when we're gonna open it up for bookings. You know, I've had people messaging me about dates, about, you know, can I give you a deposit? Not, not quite, we're not at that point yet. We're getting closer. We definitely need to decide on a name, which I know you guys have given me amazing ideas, but just with three people, you gotta make sure everyone's happy with it. And it's one of those things where I don't wanna regret, you know, rushing it and picking a name too soon. But yeah, we're gonna build a website, get all that stuff set up and then start creating some content in this amazing place on Lake of the Woods. A good day, a good day to be alive. It's day two at the island. Mark's gone crazy. He's running through the woods and I haven't been able to find him in two days since we got here. Saw a frog as soon as we landed and everything's just been nuts since then. The friendship floated away. The cabin fell over. It's been a rough couple of days. <laughs> so as you can see, some, she some sheeting has been done. Lumber piles are going down. I'll just give you a quick tour so you guys can see what what's happening. So this wall would be the north wall and it's almost done she being sheeted. And it's hard to see with the scaffolding in place, but this wall is done all the way to the peak. And this wall is almost done. Um, and then uh, part of the roof is was done too. So yeah, you can see, see the walls and the roof. Yeah, it's coming along. Had a bit of a bear problem. I'll just see if there's any in there today. They've been good so far. Mama and the kids have always took off after I clear my throat. So yeah, they're making a little hole a little bit bigger. And I don't know why it stopped. Well guys, it has been a minute since I've been down at the property. Um, the boys tried to do some self-filming. Uh, I think they now have an appreciation for how tough filming is. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny reviewing their GoPro footage. But anyways, we got Mr. Connor Gerber. Connor, say hi. What's going on, everyone? Where's home for you? Uh, Wellesley, Ontario. Wellesley, Ontario. It's your boy, Connor, <laughs> representing. Um, Connor emailed us and said, I'd like to help with electrical work. And um, him, along with some help we're getting in town, from Lake Country Electric are, uh, are doing this project. So anyways, we're gonna give you an update. I'm gonna show you what the cabin looks like right now. And uh, we're gonna go fishing, but the fishing will be part of a different video. But let's let's see, Connor's gonna be down here for a couple days and uh, doing the rough in, as, as the electricians call it. Um, this area is turning into like a tropical rainforest. It is a, it's a lush ecosystem here. <laughs> it's, it is so green. Uh, it's, it's doing well here on the property, but check check out our cabin it is it's it's looking pretty pretty amazing look at that
So still need to do some more sheeting. Need to sheet most of the roof. Um, the walls are pretty much all done. And then we're gonna put that metal roofing on from Domtech. That'll be probably uh, in a week or two. Everyone's kind of gone. Spencer's gone, Scott's gone, Uncle Mark's gone. I'm the only one around right now. So I'm kind of uh, making sure everything keeps moving along. In other news, I think we've got a name for the cabin for the outpost. We're not gonna share it yet, but we just we just need to sit on it for a while, let it marinate. But the boys and I had a brainstorming session and I think we've settled. We've settled on a, on a cool name. I think, uh, I think you guys will like it. Anyways, we're taking Connor fishing. And uh, next time you see this cabin, there's probably gonna be some, some wires running through it, around it, receptacles, switches, plugs. That's probably the same thing. Anyways, 